Hey YouTube, how the heck we doing? Today we're gonna go over my three tips to jungling. Now, of course, I'm a team of main. I've hit challenger or team of jungle, but also we could talk about other junglers as well. You know, it's gonna be an all around for the role. I have a unique experience with it. I'm excited to share it. If you like these kind of videos and guides, drop a like and comment below, and uh, I appreciate y'all. The first step to jungling starts at level one, and this is for all junglers. It's very important to kind of think about your pathing level one, and a lot plays into it. It's a lot. It's a thinking person's role okay a thinking player's role so at level one you look at your team and the enemy team the first thing is is where do you want to gank level three a lot of junglers are able to gank level three if you if you have a farming path and you gank level four also something to think about so you look at your team and you look at their team you need to find out which lane is going to be the easiest gank Okay, so if you have a double melee match up top, something like Set or Riven, you probably should get up there as soon as you can. That's a very volatile lane. You know, same thing for mid lane, something like Kiana versus Zed, right? Same thing for bot lane. You want to look at all three lanes and see which lane is going to be the most volatile. Which lane do we need to go to ASAP? Okay, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. This is for all junglers, ganking and farming. You want to path towards that lane that you deem is the most volatile. So a scenario would be set versus Riven top, but in the bot lane, your team has Yumi Ash. An enemy team, say, has Sona Soraka bot lane. Guess what? You probably can't gank bot lane. It's not going to be an easy gank. So that's step one. Also, you need to think about the enemy jungler. If you're playing a jungler that can kill the enemy jungler, you want a path to meet them. Another example would be I'm playing Xin Zhao jungle, the enemy team's playing Shivana. I know Shivana is going to start her red and full clear. If I'm playing Xin Zhao, I'm going to do blue, gromp, red, and I'm going to go towards bottom. Maybe I find Shivana, maybe I meet her there, maybe I poop on her at Scuttle. These are all things to think about. Okay, so step number one is going to be that pathing. Think about your pathing based on your jungler. Think about what lane to gank or the enemy jungler as well. Very important. Step number two for most junglers is going to be learning how to double camp. Some junglers like Fiddlesticks can do it starting level two, right? Some junglers like Teemo can do it level six, but double camping is very important for efficient clear speed. What double camping would be is, for example, here, I'm playing Teemo. I pull both blue and gromp, and I put a shroom in the middle of them. Now I'm doing damage to both of them. Right? A lot of junglers do not have problems clearing healthily. Okay? A lot of it is the clear speed. So double camping sacrifices a little bit of health, but for a whole lot of clear speed. Boom! There it is. You clear the camp just so much quicker. It's insane. Again, for something like Fiddle 6, you can start this dang level 2, level 3. For Teemo, level 6. For a lot of junglers, you can do it starting level 2, level 3. So learn how to double camp with the jungle you're going. And save some precious seconds off the game. My third step to jungling is going to be priorities. Okay? And also I'm going to throw in a bonus and throw in pad thing as well. So the big thing about this step is your priorities as a jungler. Okay? And of course this will depend on your jungler every time. Something like Teemo, you want to farm a lot early game. Your priority map would look something like farm. And then ganking is number two priority. Number three priority would be scuttles number four would be herald fire would be drake and then six would be counter jungling so it's very scary for teemo something like lee sin or zin zhao no one priority would be getting your farm to level three but then the number two priority is ganking number three priority is counter jungling so it's, it's easier for them then four or five would be herald drake and whatnot so it's very important to know for your jungler what is going to be your priorities? Some junglers power farm, some don't. Some gank a lot, some don't. Some just try to disrupt. Figure out what jungler you're playing and make your priority checklist, okay? Now, along with that, here's my bonus tip, is premeditate your pathing when you're leaving base. Every time I leave base, I look at the map and look to see where I'm going. It's very important. If you look at my map here, 
in theory, I have every camp up, and I have three lanes, of course. So now I have to look at the map. Do I want to gank top, mid, or bottom? Do I want to farm Herald? What's going on here? So ganking is always going to be good. So say I want to gank top lane. Well, as Teemo, if I want to gank top lane, I am going to go scoot on over here, and Teemo is a very fast clearing jungler. So I would go ahead, and I would clear wolves, and I would double camp these two, and then go top lane. I would grab my farm on the way to top lane onto my gank. Wanted to go bottom, I would do red and Krugs on my way to ganking bottom. Very important for power farmers. If I'm not playing a power farmer, you can just skip your wolves and grog. Just grab your blue and then gank top lane or counter jungle or herald. But all these things you got to be thinking about every time you leave base. It's very important. Your objectives and premeditate your pathing. Okay, very important. Think about it every time you loot base, depending on your jungler, and that will gain you loads of LP and make you look pretty good screaming jungle diff in all chat.